Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad. Welcome to the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. Wasn't planning on recording this, but I'm gonna be here recording anyway. <laughs> just because I I just... Like, I wasn't planning on watching this at all, but I feel like I probably should. <laughs> just because I think it's gonna be probably good, but I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't spoil too much. It's probably gonna go into some of the basics of what the goal is of the game, I'd imagine. So, spoiler warning in advance. Let's see how this goes. And this is going to be looking at more of what Mario sounds like now because Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario, retired. So there's a new Mario voice, which we've heard already, which because we didn't notice it was different is probably a good sign. So, I mean, people did notice it was a little bit different sounding, but I don't think people knew outright that it was different. Also, who is this adorable thing here? I don't know if it's showing up. There we go. This adorable thing here. Look at him. He's amazing. Look at him. He's amazing. Tiny, tiny friend. Here we go. Ooh, so exciting. I love the angled Welcome view of this. To the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent prince. Oh, it's the Mario. prince. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious wonder flower. He became a flower. Nope. Oh, this looks Bowser really cool. With prince Florian's castle. Oh my gosh, that is just Bowser. Oh my goodness. I love the creative creativity of this. Also Bowser's really cool in this style. We all thought we all went crazy when the Super Crown came out. Now what about Bowser <laughs> Bowser Castle? Literally Bowser's Castle. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now it's up to Mario That's really cool. to stop the way he's changing things. The Flower Kingdom. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side scrolling adventure. Like the purple adventure, coins. That's a good Super addition. Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. It's gonna be interesting to see if it works the way it does in other games. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's, it's a very beautiful, <laughs> just a very beautiful world. Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Seven? That's unusual. I mean, I'm sure the there's gonna be the final castle, plateau. as it usually is, as eight. But there's seven areas outside of that. Past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights. Oh my goodness, the platforms. <laughs> With limited uses, okay. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant New enemies is really cool. Shining falls. Oh, so that's really cool the way that, that Traverse platform works. Islands. Dive into the sea. There's so much. And spelunk through caves at the heart of the flower kingdom, the petal isles. Whoa, that was cool. There's, also an arid There's just so many small details. As far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest Ooh. giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. This is going to be crazy in multiplayer. World Just very hectic. It's also got online multiplayer, I believe, which is good. You can even walk freely through open areas. You Interesting. So it's got like these spaces. set areas and also open areas. Course, that's really that's a really good way to do that. Instead. Play them in any order you like. It would also be very cool if you could, you like, after you've done a certain amount, it became it open as well. Menu. It's, an easy it's probably not going to, but that'd be really cool. Again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. <gasps> get close and... Onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. If this will either be good, taken well, or taken badly. Like it's very obvious with some of that. You'd share your water with me? 
Although it's got the comedic opportunity. Hey, it's Blue Toad! Oh, Blue Toad, in game? Besides he's in Mario, game, he's back! You can also, play also Yoshi's. Luigi. Blue Peach. Toad back though. Poggers. Daisy. If he was ever Mother gone, technically, I don't know. And Toadette. Hasn't really been. They all play the same. So go with your Good. <laughs> they all play the same. That was my problem with the uh, deluxe. Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. Interesting. Choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. I feel like that should just be careful though, an option rather than a character specific thing though. So watch your step. Because that's again my complaint with deluxe. My only complaint really. And spit them back at oh my goodness. Like literally just Yoshi's Island is an option Speaking to play enemies, the game. Here are some of the new it's really cool. Kind of. Will copy the player and jump when Interesting. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Oh my goodness, that's the best piranha plant variation we've ever had, I think. They're just melons. When conks attack, they'll even plow oh, so what is this goo? Mumsies can be unraveled. I feel like we brush past the goo part right. very quickly. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close oh my to goodness. Oh my goodness, that's actually terrifying. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Oh my goodness, that doesn't... Goombas. It's gonna be fine. Koopa Troopas. This Boots. art style is so cool. Locky twos and other familiar it just highlights the here. character so well. It's so simple. Also, hello. Bubble Next, Mario. Let's look at the new power-ups you can find. And Drill and Mario. Elephant, elephant Mario as well. We've sure already seen. And your size. Also, so Drill Mario is gonna be to crazy, I'm enemies. sure. <laughs> Blocks, I can- I know the internet, and Drill Mario is already a In joke. Form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? Interesting. If you store water in your trunk and spray it out- Oh, very interesting. What might happen. Thank you! That trunk sure I also love the, like, use of the vines at the top of the screen. Mario, I wonder if that's Luigi. actually functional or if it's the just there for decoration. Also, look at the- Oh my goodness. Peach, Daisy, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Some of these forms are hilarious. Also Bubble Mario. Not to be confused with bubbling from all the other games. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Oh my goodness. Typically impervious foes, Everybody bubble. <laughs> with that, and it doesn't kill everyone that time, this time. You can even jump off them. Like platforms. This is gonna be so chaotic in speedruns, but it's gonna be great. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. <sighs> Very cool. While in drill form, you drill Mario. Pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky. Oh, very cool. Or hard-headed enemies. Of that's breeze. so cool. That's so that's just a helpful thing. And then you can ground pound to drill down. You to oh my goodness, borrowing. Oh my goodness. In a tough spot. I'm, I'm loving this. This is a good design. You can even oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know that if it's possible, people are just gonna do that the entire way through. Although it looks like the level's gonna be bigger because it's not limited to the time limit by looks of it. At least not for with every level, which is the best in like, best improvement to the series probably. In a pinch, bust out a power up. Saving quick items, that's gonna be helpful. Or swap them to better fit the situation. Obviously that was a thing in uh, 3D World, but now it's a it's a 2D game with that power. So this is very good. This is a wonder flower. Wow! A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's got different it's variations. Thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it. Like that spooky blue. look for that one. That's the power Bowser was after. Thank you for the recap. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, Mario becomes the King Castle thing. Some interesting changes. Except it doesn't. Pipes might also, love the background, like. And I love the moving stuff. There's a time limit there. That's probably for a specific thing. Oh my goodness, tilting? Screen effects is gonna be a good addition, probably. Oh my goodness. Also, I think it looks like it's just for when there's the flower effect, possibly, for the time limit, maybe? Maybe I'm crazy. Like, this is a auto scroller. The other ones had. Time limits. 
A Goomba? Interesting. Or a Just more Odyssey. No, the timeline's gonna be something else different. It's gonna be its own thing. But let's, let's see, it like shows up here for that. So it's got some connection to the time loop, I guess. Interesting. I like that. Also, love the way that the wonder seeds look. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. A what? <laughs> What'd you call it? I need to hear that name again. Badges. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Interesting. Oh, like badges, badges. I, I agree with this. Each with That's such an interesting idea ability. for a 2D platformer to have badges to change things like that. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. I wonder how required that's going to be. <laughs> Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump. It's probably going to be helpful. Unleash Extremely helpful. Speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Oh, really helpful. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump. This badge. is so cool. Shoot vines in midair. Oh my goodness. Stick to walls with the grappling vine. Oh, I really want to play this now. Recover from dangerous drops. It's only like two months away. Not even two months, I think. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. This game is so close now. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. That'll be good. Become invisible to your enemies. That's not going to be as good, probably. Because you can't see where you are, but you I've also played Mario 64 without Mario with being able to see Mario, so that's probably going to be and fine. You can run in the air for a bit. Interesting. There are many more badges with different abilities. I wonder if that affects, like, your ability to jump in midair as well. Only one badge can be equipped per course. That's you fine. them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Hmm. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge I just want to play this already because there's so many interesting worlds to look at. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. And because it could be done be sure so differently to, to previous games, it's gonna be courses for badges. A lot more like easy to get into probably. This might be the easiest to get into Mario game. Like two platform Mario game. People can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Yep. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course. As Ghosts. Goes. Interesting. That's probably a better way to do that. Reaches them before time runs out. Then using bubbles is less confusing. Your group won't lose a life either. It probably just makes more, just a bit more so sense, you know, so that you don't have to have the bubble show up Yoshi, randomly, you can jump on because they can just be ghosts from where they were when they died. Course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Or if you're an elephant. Dual Yoshis. Oh, Yoshi. Really trying. Also, online play. Good stuff. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I feel about that. These if you can turn it off, it'll be pretty good. I'd Enjoy like that. In real time, appearing as live player shadows. But if you want to see that, that that's like cool. Local co -op. If you're defeated, you can come back to life by oh, into a live player shadow. very cool. I just want to be able to play with friends, Players really, online. And share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, You'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy As long as it's like not an open together. to everyone thing, basically. You can also place a standee in a course. Interesting. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas. Is that an online only thing? Players. Probably? You can I feel like cheating though. Surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. That's you like a custom checkpoint get. flag. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. Oh boy. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts. So you want to put that next to somewhere that people die a lot. Probably. We still don't know how to feel about this. Together and more will earn you heart points. But what's the point of heart points? While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Good. In Good stuff. Room, you can, see which you can have like races though with online like this, and, even and we have to see where courses. the other team's at. That's Start probably the best way to use that. Then, 
Also, it just has races, of course. Then make a run for it. But like, I mean, like, without having the in-game race feature. Or both, I don't know. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a but race, like, though. full game play, courses, full game races. Seed, also, that's a really cool Bowser Jr. fight. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world, or syncing up with friends for riveting races. That's what we want. You can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day! So overall, pretty much incredible. <laughs> Just absolutely amazing. Also, I love those blocks that make it make you move up. Uh, if you're like holding onto it. Oh my goodness. There's so much this. It looks like my plays, interestingly. Like the controls seem very interesting in some parts of this. It's gonna be quite something to actually get the hang of. Less than two months. Okay. And some hidden coins. Hidden coins is a good feature, a like a good Switch thing, but I don't know if it's model, worth it for the, just that. If you don't have one, that's probably the way to go. Or if you need to replace it. I think that's probably it. Because it, it's it. Again, just absolutely love it. <laughs> just, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Anyway. That's probably it for now, though. So I'll, yeah, <laughs> look forward to the game coming out. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.